Hi, my name is Andy Gonzalez, HEB Border Region Dietitian. Understanding the nutrition food label is key to achieving your individual health goals. Here are some tips that our HEB registered dietitians have put together as you continue your health journey. So when you're looking at the nutrition food label, you want to start at the top of the food label. You want to look at that serving size. You want to ask yourself, how many servings am I consuming of this food product? If that serving size is more than one serving, then what you want to do is multiply that number to the rest of the nutrients that are listed on that food label. That'll tell you how much of that nutrient you're either eating or drinking. So the next section you want to pay attention to is the calories. Calories is the amount of energy in each food item. Something less than 40 calories is considered a low calorie food item. What's also important is that too many calories can cause weight gain or too little calories can cause fatigue and also other health issues. The percent daily value is important because this is based on a 2000 calorie recommendation. If you're following a 1600 calorie diet or maybe a 2200 calorie diet, these numbers have to be adjusted to that recommendation. The next section we want to pay attention to is total fat, saturated fat, trans fat, and also cholesterol and sodium. This section, you want to limit these because they have been associated with heart disease, high blood pressure, and even cancer. So the next section that I want you to pay attention to is the ones that you can't get enough of. These include things like dietary fiber, some of your vitamins and minerals that are essential for growth, for uh, reducing the risk of cancer and additional health benefits. So the next section that I want you to pay attention to is the ingredients. Because if, for example, if you're choosing whole wheat bread or whole grain bread, you want the first ingredient to be that. 